Thank you. I, uh, I've got uh, four or five things to cover. First thing I'd like to cover is something the mayor asked me to specifically address to the council and just as importantly the public. And if you'll bear with me, I normally don't get up and read very much, but I need to read here for just a, a minute. I want to take you back to January 24, 2011. And these are statements by Kane Arrear, who's an, who's an attorney with Hand Arendelle. The most significant development in this case recently has been the federal judge ruled on December the 14th, 2012, granted our motion for summary judgment in numerous respects in favor of the city and the mayor on almost all the claims that were filed and certainly on most of the important ones that were filed or, or asserted by, us, by the diocese. In the original complaint, they alleged seven causes of action with numerous complex subparts and all but one aspect of the case relating to breach of contract and, and negligence on traffic issues have been dis dismissed. And to clarify, the only remaining issue in the Dias case, based on a, another update I'm, update I'm gonna give you in a minute, has to do with the issue of a traffic signal at the intersection of Veterans and Highway 98. That means that the court threw out as meritless all the claims against the mayor individually and all the claims against the city that relate to the council's approval of the Fly Creek PUD. In fact, everything is now out of that case except for uh, these very narrow issues, which is the traffic signal that I mentioned to you. In throwing out the, the diocese claims, the court found that they were completely, mer completely meritless and the diocese failed to even attempt to present any evidence to support most of them. The court's order described their arguments as misguided, nonsense, and legally Ill irrelevant. In, a paragraph, in paragraph after paragraph, the court found that the diocese completely failed to present any evidence supporting their position. On the critical claim of equal protection, the court noted that the diocese's silence was fatal, though it is not clear how they could have shouldered their burden even if they had attempted to do so. Their pursuit of multiple frivolous claims, which, which were pleaded in the most complicated fashion, caused the city of Fairhope to incur, as you know, a substantial amount of legal costs in order to rightfully defend the city and the mayor against these false allegations. This was the fourth lawsuit uh, filed by the diocese against the city over the same property and utilizing, some of the, some, utilizing many of the same legal theories which had been determined to be meritless. After the federal judge ruled on summary judgment, and threw out everything with the exception of the, inter the intersection of Veterans and Highway 98. An appeal was filed to the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit. On Tuesday, January 17, 2012, the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit in Atlanta released an opinion which affirmed in its entirety the decision of the lower court granting summary ju judgment in favor of the city of Fairhope and Mayor Kent on essentially all the claims made in the case by the diocese. And there again, the only issue outstanding <coughs> is the intersection of veterans and Highway 98. As a, as a prevailing party, Fairhope sought to recover its attorney's fees and other costs of litigation from the diocese for the expense of having to successfully defending the lawsuit. The lower court, which is a federal judge in Mobile, denied the request for the reimbursement of fees and expenses and the question of, on appeal was whether the lower court abused its discretion by doing so. The 11th Circuit affirmed the denial of fees, citing a case which states that while it might have reached a different result, it could find no abuse of its discretion. Um, so where we are with the Dice lawsuit is that we have one issue that's been remanded to the Baldwin County Circuit Court and that's the issue of uh, the intersection of veterans and Highway 98, and we think that'll be resolved in a very timely manner.